We've made it through Thanksgiving, and the elections were held over two weeks ago. But they're still counting and finding ballots in Broward County, Florida. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm politically fatigued after two straight years of some folks just not being able to accept the results of an election. And it seems to take discovering new votes, counting some more than once, or accepting votes from people who aren't citizens, or who've been dead for years, or who voted in several places to get the des desired results. I think it's time to get the Christmas decorations up. It's time to send the Christmas cards and start ordering gifts and take a real break from the contentious world of politics. Hey, I love politics because I love my country. And I know that our political system is the vehicle to enact policies that can make a difference in people's lives. I mean, I'd love to see poverty eliminated in my lifetime right here in the US. I really would. I'd love to... I'd love to never hear of another child or spouse being battered and abused. I'd love to one day know that our culture wouldn't accept as okay for an unborn baby to be torn into many pieces by money-grubbing empires like Planned Parenthood, who victimize not just the babies, but the birth mothers who are also a victim in that process. Hey, I'd love to see every school a place where a child could learn regardless of whether he or she is rich or poor, black or white, or male or female. And I'd love to know that if a person gets cancer or has a child with a developmental disability, there would be access to affordable treatment and that a family wouldn't have to become destitute and lose their home and their last dime before they had any help. I'd love to see every neighborhood safe from random shootings, drug users on the streets, and from just filth. I'd love to know that every single veteran who ever served this country would never be homeless and ever have to cope with PTSD alone and in the streets. I would be thrilled if the news media just gave us the unbiased facts and let us make up our own minds as to what it means to us. And it would really make my day if people using social media would get a sense of humor if they would stop being phonies who pretend that they are offended by everything, and if they wanted to say something, then I wish they would have the guts to say it on the record and put their real name behind it and not hide behind some wimpish, cowardly, silly, fake name. Yeah, I'd love to see entertainers and athletes perform and play without feeling obligated to lecture me and belittle me for my political views or my faith. And I'd be ecstatic if folks in Washington would solve some real problems rather than ignore the elections and try to overturn them with phony investigations and accusations. But, but for those things to happen, we've got to become involved in politics and elect the best people who will work to create policies and laws that will empower people with good jobs and a decent education, a safe community, clean water and air, and a government that treats everyone the same, whether they're Democrat or Republican. So I'm glad the elections are finally over. I really am. But the work to make America even better is never going to be over. So we need to keep praying, keep thinking, and keep voting. But let's not do it till at least after Christmas. <laughs>